Hello everybody and welcome back to the carport. A few months ago I was asking around the community for people who had converted their spare tire space into storage. I had some questions about how you did it and what you stored back in there and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I decided to do with mine in a video today. Good morning everybody, a sunny day, and we're going to tackle a project that I've been asking a lot about and researching is using the storage area where the spare tire goes. So I cut this out of three quarter inch plywood just using the other cover as a pattern. And so I'm going to use that and then show you what I do with it. Opening it up and getting under here, I've got a rust problem that I've got to deal with immediately after this trip. So I'm not gonna do a full cover of this. I'm just gonna set it up temporarily for this next week. And then when I get back from the trip, I'll address the rust. Here it is installed. So this is a 15 by 20 inch um, hatch. So I used a 16 inch hinge back there. And I've got these two little pieces here, which may be permanent or may just be temporary. I'll get a handle. Then I've got this piece of plywood here underneath of it, which is hold this. So that gives it a lot of support. I have this ribbed plastic sheet that I use to keep things from sliding around in the back. So I'm gonna lay this over top of the hatch. I cut it out so that it fits, but I need to cut out just a little bit more, make that separation a little wider, because if not, it has a tendency to fold down inside of the hatch and make it hard to close. Took about a quarter off of the three sides, ran this through so I've got something easy to pull up on it. I did get rid of the little metal brackets here. They were unnecessary and we're getting in the way of this. So easy open, easy close, and it's not binding up on anything. Now that I have the uh, rust taken care of, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this area up and get myself a nice base down there to uh, store some things. I have some reflective insulation. That's what I use to make the window shades. And so I've cut out three pieces of it. These two that are gonna go along the side, one on either side and this large one that's going to cover it up in the middle. I've got one in place and drying. I'm using this spray adhesive to do it. So I'll put a heavy coat on wherever it's going and then also a heavy coat on this. Let it tack up, dry for about a minute, and then push them together. I ended up cutting out a fourth piece to put up here in the front to kind of cover that up. I'm gonna round it off the edges from what was left. It's a, not absolutely perfect, but hopefully it'll work, help a little bit with the sound deadening and I'll be able to put stuff down in there without worrying about it getting dirty. In order to keep the uh, battery down there for the solar system, I put together a quick little frame, base for it to sit on. It'll just lay right down in there and this velcro will hold the battery in place the platform's made out of wood off of some pallets i'll put another piece right in there to stop the terminals from touching anything that might short it out and then strap it down what do i plan to keep back here i've got a floor jack right now i'll probably be looking for a bottle jack that takes up a little bit less room this uh, came out of a Honda CRV. It's one of those inflate, it plugs holes by setting uh, gel in there that'll plug a small hole and inflate the tire. You just plug it into your cigarette lighter. A bungee net, if I need to net things down, you know, I've got that obviously for the um, jack. 
wrench there, take off the lug nuts, and then I'll throw some luxury things back here, like my hammock and a few other items that I'll be able to access from the door on that side. Here it is back installed. When I made it, you know, you've got to follow the pattern and cut that out up there so that it'll fit in. I did the same thing back here on this corner and the other corner. Right now, when I sleep, my bed's set up on this side so that I can still access this, but I'm not naive. I know that one day I may change that. And so this is designed so I could rotate it and put it over here so that the door is here as well. Also measured it, right, so that the legs would sit here if needed to, and they wouldn't be on top of the door for my bed. Um, taped this down with double-sided tape so that it doesn't slip and get in and jam up the door. Added a red G-string. It helps me grab a hold of it real easily. And it has the, the G has the added function of being able to hook on right there and grab onto that so I can reach down and grab what I need to at any time and then ease it back down. Overall, I'm really happy with how the project turned out. I think it looks clean. I like the look of it. It blends right in with the other stuff that I have at the back so you really can't tell it's there. I like the easiness that I can access this and I also like the fact that I can keep my stuff down there and I don't have to worry about getting dirty. A few things I would possibly change if I were to do it again. I might not put the hinge in. I might just put something that I can lift and get out. I might put a door on both sides. Something I might consider doing is not using this really nice birch plywood underneath of there since nobody's ever going to see it. It's just covered up with this cheap plastic mat. So, but again, those are all things that I can live with. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Hey, if you like what we're doing here, go ahead and like and subscribe, please, to the channel. I keep putting things out there as ideas come to mind. So maybe you'll find something that piques your interest in another video. Ciao.